We're at camp and it's pouring down rain. Time to eat breakfast. What do you say, Ron? Hey, good morning, everybody. We're back. A real light rain, but we're going to be okay. Oh. Older at night. All right, there's the hunter's breakfast. Eggs are good food. First light opening day and we just have a mess out here it's raining we set up the blind and we're set up on this pine row watching the pines so if anything comes through we got a short window we can kind of look out here kind of catch them before they get to us but not hearing hardly any shooting this morning and uh, so we'll see. There are some deer on the roads on the way in, but they might be moving, but not as much. We'll see what happens. Just uh, got back from camp. We just come in for a quick warm up. Stopped raining. And uh, Ron, what'd you see this morning? Well, I saw a ton of deer. Uh, probably 15 deer, one spike. And uh, one thing I learned: you got to gut it out. We sat in the rain like maniacs today for about eight and a half hours. Now it's stopped. We're supposed to get some snow. So the truly crazy are back out here again. <laughs> it will be frozen by the time we get in, and then tomorrow we're gonna get a whole bunch of snow. But hey, that's what the heart of the hunter is. Yeah. <laughs> you either have it or you don't. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, saw a lot of doe this morning, and uh, we saw a really big six point, but that buck is illegal for us to shoot. It has to have three points on top. So it has, you cannot count the brow tine, 
and so it has to have that G2, the main beam, and a G3 um, or more. So three or more points up is uh, the basis of the restrictions where we're at. Okay, we're on. What is it, about three o'clock? We got a two and a half hour hunt. Yeah. Evening hunt. We go in in the dark, we come out in the dark. Yeah. That's the way to hunt. All right, good luck. You're gonna head up to the hill, up to the food plot. Yes, uh, where sir. my brother was at this morning. Yep. And my brother's kind of down where Ron was at, so they kind of switched spots and for the evening hunt. All right, we are in the stand. And so first time ever hunting this stand. I saw deer already up there. But anyways, <clears throat> we can see the deer if they come up from the bottom up onto this road. And a lot of the deer, they like to come out and walk over here, right there. Well, through the brush is the blind that we were sitting at this morning. So we were watching that six point right up there behind my archery stand. And that's where I filmed my rut hunt. So we don't really have any shooting lanes out through there. Um, but Danielle is on the left side, so this tree right here might be a pain for us uh, trying to film past there, but we can also see down through here. And so <clears throat> we have a lot of cover behind us, so um, you know we're not skylined, as you can see. And if they come up right up underneath the tree stand, um, you know, they, it's really hard for them to see us up here. So really, really windy. Uh, guys are seeing a couple bucks here and there nothing big we heard a lot of, we, ha we actually heard a decent amount of shooting this morning but uh, I haven't heard any word of actually anybody that I know personally that got a buck so far so <clears throat> you never know there are, there's always nice bucks still out there so we're just gonna sit tight and tomorrow's gonna get real cold so maybe the deer will move more shoot so we're gonna go pick him up and uh, we'll be out tomorrow all right it's day two and we're back in the blind and we got the buddy heater going and look at it outside lots of snow Ron my brother and my cousin they're all out up on top of the hill and going down through the property so um, we'll see if uh, we can get some deer moving today. Um, and uh, a little bit easier to spot, but still, we need them deer to move uh, in order to see them. So.
All right, well, we're all back. It's uh, 11.30 and we all decided to meet back at the vehicles to see how everybody did and, uh, well, we're on. Got a coyote. <laughs> Hola, ese. Coyote muerta. Oh, for you non-Spanish speaking people, that means hello friends, dead coyote. <laughs> Today, the Roadrunner won one and beat Wiley Coyote. About 10 o'clock, it was trudging through and uh, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I want you to take a look at some of his chompers. Look at those canines. I would not want that chomping me. That's, that's serious teeth there. Yeah. But, uh... Where'd you hit him? Shoulder. I yeah. think right there behind, he was coming at me right there somewhere, and I think it came up. Yeah. But, uh, he dropped, and, uh, saw a lot of deer today. Saw a six-point, four-point. Saw a doe with Kel walking in, and three or four more doe. So there was a lot yeah. of stuff moving, but, uh... Up yeah. there, they got that three three on a side, and, you know, it makes it tougher. Yeah. Robbie, what did you see? I saw three point and uh, nine doe. Kale? Six and a couple doe. Danielle, what did we see? A bunch of doe. bunch of doe. So. Back to Wiley. He better write to Acme and get some new products, because you didn't fool the road runner today. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep. Yeah. Nice hide on it, too. Yeah, it was yeah, nice. It, I don't see any mange on it. <laughs> Get a good look at him holding him like that. Now, what do you think you feel? How heavy do you think he feels like that? We were figuring high 30s, like I 38. You're right. Maybe a, maybe a 40 at best. Yeah. If he's best. 40, he's probably right on the money, huh? Yeah. That's a good one to take out. Heck yeah. Good All for right. the farmers and the deer hunters. I mean, if we go out anymore. Uh, it, we're hardly hearing any shooting and uh, the deer really aren't moving unless they get pushed so I mean uh, we'll see what happens the rest of the day if not then I might just take the rifle out through the week if I get any time and uh, but there there's the opening two days of rifle season 2018